tied on a little pink calf tail jig. Got some bluegills right there. Tossin spooked them all out. So we'll see if they come back over to that one. Came over to eat it. Nice one. Another nice bluegill. I catch uh, a lot better quality of fish in this area than I do any other part of the canal. But with how overgrown the bank gets and uh, how much this will get scummed up, it's tough to fish most of the most of the year. Today is uh, June 16th, and probably in another week or two, they stop mowing this. Like they don't mow this bank; they mow the, right next to the trail, but they don't mow the bank down, so that gets overgrown and then. Uh, the, uh, the surface will get scummed up a little bit more the longer the summer goes on. And then plus this, uh, I get poison ivy a lot when I go in these weeds. Bullfrog trying to be noisy while I'm trying to talk. So, uh, so I try to not climb in the weeds too much and I try to wear long pants most of the time that I'm out, but today I'm just wearing shorts. Took my kayak down here once years ago, and uh, it's a lot of good fishing down through this section. When you know, like I was saying, it gets so overgrown on the bank that a lot of people don't bank fish it, and it's an end that is. Uh, it's not a lot of people that come down here either. You get people riding bikes. Mostly are the people you'll see through here. There's a much more popular part, about two miles down that way. So that's where everybody goes to walk and walk their dogs and all that. Whoop! Came off, he got back in the water though. This is a, another cookie cutter bluegill, another about six inch or so it looked like. Take a few more tosses down through here. little one. There we go. Whoops. Uh, he's going to have to try his best to find the water because there's, I'm not reaching in all that to try to find him. If he had just held still for a second though, he would have been tossed back in. Well, that makes a good place to end the video though. Thanks for watching.